It's definitely a tough situation for sure. Right. I mean, how much you love your dog, you know? I'm going to move on because it's like I made it super depressing. I mean, I, but, if I could just get as much support as no. possible. I want to get in back because I can't remember. Bring back the love. Petition in the bio. Go sign up. This Eliana and Piper Raquel story is getting way out of control now. From alleged kidnapping rumors to now lawsuits, this story is blowing up the internet and fans are taking sides. How has it come to this? Well, let me spill the tea about how these former squad mates can't even stand each other right now. So as we all know, Eliana has had her dog Lola taken from her by Piper's mom, Tiffany. Rumors of this story began after a fan who claimed to have inside information said that Tiffany and Piper were the ones who took Lola and a few days later, Lola was spotted in the background of Piper's video. Soon afterwards, rumors started going around that Tiffany was actually mistreating Lola and refusing to give her back. What? I mean, how can she do that? That's absolutely heartless. After this rumor started spreading, Eliana's friends started posting and leaving comments saying bring back Lola so that they could try and raise awareness and pressure Tiffany into giving back the dog. So naturally when Gavin did his live stream, people started typing bring back Lola. At first he seemed confused by the whole thing and then he dropped a huge bombshell. Who is Lola? Yeah, but didn't she literally give them the dog? Now, according to Gavin, Lola wasn't taken from Lola as everyone was thinking. Apparently Eliana herself was the one who gave Lola away because she couldn't take care of Lola. This news made the entire internet flip out with some people saying that Piper couldn't do it and it was a lie. But the majority of people were actually just confused by Gavin's revelation because in the beginning he acted like he didn't know who Lola was and all of a sudden he had all this information out of nowhere. Not gonna lie, that is a little sus. Help Lola, Tiffany's abusing her. You know what's crazy, bro? Is all the animals at Piper's house literally get like royalty treatment. Royalty treatment. Oh, yeah. Like you've been there. Bro, all the dogs, all the cats. Cole's literally been to their house a few times. So after this news started spreading online, Eliana was quick to respond and denied all the claims that she gave her dog away. She left a comment saying, I will speak more to this soon. Lola is my dog on all accounts and I have never given her away to anyone. My parents and others have made repeated private attempts to issue her return. Their messages have been ignored. Not gonna lie loves, I am a little heartbroken and concerned about how Lola is right now and I am not the only one. And her fans started leaving comments sharing their support. Just take a look at these. Give her the dog. Justice for Ellie and Lola. Hey, Eliana, I hope you get your dog Lola back. I'll make sure to pray for her and help you get her back. Oh, I really hope you get her back. I understand how much pets make a difference in someone's life and especially their mental health. Girl, just sue them. We need Lola back. Ellie, please, girl, sue them. It's what's best for you. Let's just say we're not stealers. And, um, you know. Yeah, yeah. We're not stealers. No animals were harmed. They are only in possession of things they are given. Mm -hmm. So, that's, that's your newsflash. Hey, y'all. Eliana must have been going through these comments because after one fan commented and asked her if she was planning to sue Piper and Tiffany to get Lola back, she replied with a cryptic but decisive emoji with sunglasses on seemingly confirming that she indeed is truly thinking of suing Tiffany and Piper. Now, after releasing a statement saying she would address everything soon, she did indeed and she wasn't holding anything back. In an interview with The Street Interviewer, Eliana revealed that she really tried reaching out and contacting Piper and Tiffany to try and resolve the issues without turning it into a huge legal drama. Really, it's a sad situation for sure. It, it, it really I, is. I, we've, you know, we've tried to go about it the right way by right. You know, contacting. I know, like, and that's I the really hardest, slowest I really, way. I don't want it to turn into more. Right. I just wish it, we could go about it the right way. It just it Eliana also revealed that she worked really hard to earn the money to buy Lola, and Lola was a really great addition to her life. And now more than ever, she is going through a difficult time in her life, and she just wishes that Lola was around. But she believed that she would be able to get Lola back one day, and she is not losing hope. You know, yeah. I'm going through things in my life right now where I would really like to have yeah. my dog back. You know, I bought with my own 
own money. Right. When I did Dancing with the Stars Juniors, I took that money I made. And you bought it all. This is just. Anyways, Eliana also dropped some news about Emily Dobson after rumors of them falling out started spreading. Because Emily from the squad <laughs> um, posted a picture with you, like, in the background. I mean, it was clear, like, on purpose. Like, you could tell, like, she took a picture with you in the background. Did you guys talk? Eliana said she still has nothing against Emily and she wished Emily nothing but the best in life. And even though they were at the same event and did not talk, Eliana said that there was no beef between them. We get to talk to her. Okay. I did I did see her, but we didn't really talk or anything. Oh, okay. I know some people were thinking we, like, met up and stuff. We didn't, like, meet okay. up. So you guys didn't talk or no. work? But again, like, I have no or... hard feelings. No, of course nothing not. but the best. You sure. Know? We're just trying to live our lives. Exactly. Stuff, you know, and, and, it's most important. And I... Eliana must have been in a sharing mood because she also dished out that she is getting more and more into acting and that was the biggest reason that also made her move to Hollywood. She hinted about a huge project that she's currently trying to make happen. Girl is out here killing it despite all the drama she has going on in her life. I, I um, so basically when I first originally moved out here back in 2020, yeah. my big ambition, I was like, I want to act. Yeah. And, you know, I got into YouTube, which was great and stuff. Sure. And I, still, I still do YouTube. Yeah, you did cool videos YouTube. with Jenna and stuff. Yeah, yeah I, I see those. Yeah, that's great. I still <laughs> love doing YouTube, but I've been actually getting more into acting and there's okay. something that I can't talk about. Tell us. I'm hoping it's gonna come through. It could be really big. I've really? had like a couple of meetings about it and stuff. Now, this Eliana Piper drama has been going on for a while since Piper was accused of being to Eliana. Piper even got asked about it during a Q&A session while she was on tour. Okay, what's your question? Where is Eliana? Well, they actually are going to the Nickelodeon, like, like Kids' Choice Awards thing tonight, so they didn't have time to come, but it's okay. Yeah. All right, who is the next? People were saying that Piper excluded Eliana from things and intentionally pushed her away from the squad. Fans even identified one of Piper's videos where she pranked Eliana by pretending everyone disliked her just for views. It's Eliana, yeah. Like, we like, like to leave her out because she's just like annoying. Too late. Or is something else? Oh, it's a girl. What made it worse was that it didn't even seem like this was something Eliana was seriously going through in the group and Piper didn't even look like she cared that much. And to no one's surprise, Eliana ended up leaving the squad after all. Eliana, so today we're pranking Eliana by kicking her out of the squad! Love. Wait a minute guys, why are we doing this video? So if you guys don't know- After this, leaked DMs revealed that Piper didn't even like Eliana. From the same DMs, Piper also revealed that the whole squad was falling apart. I don't have a squad anymore, I have friends. She even seemed to throw shade at Eliana and the others who left the squad saying that they were not her friends anymore. The DMs ended with Piper saying, and if my friends want to come and support me and meet you guys, then they are welcome to attend. Drama in Piper's life was so much that her ex-friends started using TikToks to call her out. Piper first posted a TikTok exposing them for lying about her. Then they responded with things that Piper had done to them. happening in her life, it doesn't shock me that Piper wants to leave YouTube. According to her, this decision came because of all of the drama she's been facing on and off the screen. In her first video addressing this, titled Back to the Future, Piper opened up about the highs and lows of being an internet famous personality. So that's why this will be my last YouTube video. And as hard as it is to do and say, you know, knowing that something's gonna get boring after a while, really opens up my eyes to just see that I can't keep doing the same thing over and over again. I know that you guys are gonna get bored of it, so that's why this will be my last YouTube video. Basically, she acknowledged the perks that come with fame, all the special treatments, the free stuff, and invites to exclusive events. However, she also revealed the dark side of being so famous. She said that most celebrities often have fake friends who just take advantage of them. It's just, I've been doing this for so long. 
What's up, babies? Today we're going to New York. Well, more specific. You guys, with all this, Eliana and her former squad members drama, I wonder if she was thinking someone in particular when she said this. Anyways, Piper also criticized the current state of social media, which she believes has stopped being all about fun and people being themselves to people just chasing money and clout. Piper said that she was worried that she might mislead her young fans into thinking that being an influencer is all about the glitz and glam. And despite all of her success, she said she was afraid of being seen as just another influencer and hinted that she might want a regular job. Will be my last YouTube video. And as hard as it is to do and say, you know, it's just, I've been doing this for so long and I'm just getting really busy. And like, not even like the way like, you know, people say they're getting busy. Like I'm just like in general getting busy with other fun, exciting things in my life. And also I'm going on tour. Also Piper announced that she won't be creating new YouTube content, but plans to share teasers and unreleased videos, giving her fans a glimpse of her growth throughout the years. I just want to change things up. So yes. This will be my last YouTube video that I film. But don't worry, because I have something even better for you guys. I, two years ago, did a ton of scripted videos and you guys have actually seen like a lot of like the little coming up preview things. This is to be a tribute to everyone who has been a part of her journey, including those she is no longer friends with. Eliana, hint, hint. Familiar faces and it's just because that was from a long time ago and I think that that time in my life and those people that I was around with and that production is so good and like that whole thing was just so beautiful that I cannot just let it go to waste. I cannot. Now, of course, there have been rumors that Piper's departure from YouTube is mainly because of demonetization. Some people even suggested that she might have to switch to TikTok and Instagram to make money. Her fans are actually very concerned because her mother, Tiffany, is seen to be very focused on money because of her actions in the past. From having squad members sign questionable contracts to allegedly overworking and barely paying them enough, this is making people believe that Tiffany played a role in Piper's decision to leave YouTube to find another platform where she can make more money. Despite the drama and challenges she has faced, Piper's eight-year journey as a YouTuber has earned her a loyal following. And her fans see her decision to explore new opportunities as a natural progression in her career. I mean, just look at all of the love she received after saying the video. I'm actually so happy for her. It totally makes sense for her to quit as people outgrow things and sometimes YouTube just isn't as fun as it used to be. I'm proud of her and I hope she continues to grow. I think this is a really mature big step for Piper. Good for her. She deserves to have a future that she wants. It's incredible to see someone on the internet admit that the internet has some bad sides. I'm honestly happy for what Piper is stating. She's actually starting to notice things about social media and I honestly don't blame her for real. Wanting to leave cause I already know I would do the same thing. Most influencers just wanna be treated normally by others, not put on a pedestal all the time. Piper is just a regular teenager. She deserves to enjoy and love her childhood as much as possible. And if it's quitting YouTube, so be it. She has already done so much for us over the years. I'm always grateful for those days where Piper put a smile on my face or Piper cured my anxiety and so on. So go girl. Not gonna lie, I genuinely think Piper has nothing to do with the alleged taking of Lola and keeping Lola away from Eliana. Both Eliana and Piper are clearly going through stuff. Eliana has been separated from her dog for the longest time and Piper has had one of the roughest years imaginable. From scandal after scandal, like every week. What do you guys think? Will Eliana ever get Lola back? And will Piper's drama filled year ever end? Let me know in the comments down below and don't forget to check out my other video. Till next time, bye loves.